for those of you guys that have these slightly older supercharged or non-supercharged four-stroke skis your winterization and or flush port is going to be located straight back in there the top left corner this is also going to be the same as on an older two-stroke it'll either be in the top right or top left like this guy here all right guys we're going to do basic winterization first things first put the stable in the fuel second thing get your connector just a standard hose fitting nothing special you can get these anywhere I use this piece because it makes it easier to screw everything in because the end on the bucket does not spin and it's a pain in the butt to twist it together we're gonna hook up our hose If you can fit it, stick the bucket underneath the ski. You can catch what you don't use and you can always reuse it in the future. Most of these RV antifreezes are good to negative 50. The small amount of dilution from water will not affect the overall performance of the product. It should take about a gallon or less, even supercharged skis. You can always run more if it makes you feel better. RV antifreeze is cheap. Always want to check. Make sure your bucket is functioning. And let's let it rip. Whiskey full of oil. Another one. So this guy, he's got some other issues. Looks like he needs a little bit of work. Your spark plugs hand tighten them all the way down and then give them a good little about a 90 degree turn from there they do not need to be cranked tighter than Hulk could do it himself we're just gonna fire it up here for a few seconds let it burn in some of that fogging oil and shut her down. The way you know you were successful is when she smokes like a two-stroke. It is never a dull moment here. Don't forget to subscribe for more content.